Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about a very confusing topic that I have been trying to kind of send people to to get help, but it seems I may as well just make a video and help kind of quell this. Uh, and that is going to be talking about timeless jewels. More importantly, specifically, it's going to be the divine flesh, which is known as the glorious vanity uh, and then brutal restraint. Now, let's get started. There's a lot to cover here. Majority of what I'm going to do is teach you how to find your own timeless jewel. So uh, simply put, the divine flesh is a more expensive, uh, complicated setup. It's mainly for boss farming when you want to a kind of um, essentially become more tanky against what Juggernaut is weak to, which is sources of penetration. Um, by splitting the damage and making half of it deal chaos, you're allowing your unbreakable to have greater value over your elemental. And then you're also able to get a pseudo unbreakable uh, via this mastery on the chaos damage. More importantly, on things like, say, Shaper Ball and I think Elder Spears, um, that damage that's being converted to chaos does not benefit from the inherent penetration that that skill has. The Brutal Restraint version gets you a ton of dexterity, um, just no matter where it's being placed, can get you various buffs, uh, such as like Onslaught on Kill, Frenzy Charges on Kill, uh, Alchemist Genius, and a whole bunch of different things. You can find more on my website at pox.net slash FAQ, and then you just click the Brutal Restraint button uh, or question, and it'll pop all that info up for you. I haven't done one for Divine Flesh yet. Let's talk about how to actually, not how to acquire them, but how to find them on trade, right? So let's get started. So there is this thing over here called a Timeless Jewel or Find Timeless Jewel. So if you click this and you take this drop down, uh, I'm going to use Brutal Restraint as the example first because this is where I, this one has more general use. So by clicking this, in this instance, the Conqueror is irrelevant. The Conqueror determines the keystone that's being modified. So for Brutal Restraint, since we don't take the keystone, this literally does not matter, right? So here's what we're going to do next. Next, we're going to come down here and we are going to go with uh, Filter Node because Filter Node is going to make it so it's only going to highlight nodes that you have allocated so it's actually realistic. If you don't have this allocated, you're going to get a bunch of jumbled results and we don't really want that. Then we're going to click the search for node and now we need to figure out exactly what it is that we want from this, right? This is where um, you kind of have to play around with what you need at the time. Now, of course, I do have examples kind of shown uh, with what you would like on my website. So if I just come over here real fast and plug our sponsor, if we go to pox.net and just search, for example, brutal for brutal restraint, you can kind of see here and it breaks it down for you. I think minion damage should also be on here, but this part doesn't really matter, right? You have access to this, so that's not an issue. But if we just look here, for example, I tag onslaught as tier one, and this is primarily because onslaught gives you movement speed, attack speed, uh, which is good for mapping. So you can get through your maps quicker, get to your map bosses faster, and then kind of repeat. So we're going to use this as an example onslaught. So if I close out of here and I search for node, we look for onslaught, which is right here. Now, this is where it gets kind of weird. I don't fully know how this part works, but here's what I can tell you. Down here where it shows zero, I'm going to turn this to one. And what that means is one of the notables in the in the region that I have allocated needs to have onslaught. Now, one thing that I forgot about is this right here uh, for our brutal restraints. I'm just going to close out of this really fast. We want to put it in one of two locations. Number one here by the Templar area. Number two, you have flexibility with this. You can put it over in the Marauder area. What's really important is how many uh, notables it's hitting. So in this area here, you've got one, two, three, four, and potentially five at diamond skin. So you can actually just allocate that just for the sake of this. And then over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, but not everybody's going to have faith in steel uh, or sanctum of thought. And apologies if I counted wrong there. But anyway, to use this, to, to go a little further into this, oops, it is, what am I doing here? Let's go back here. So I'm going to put, instead of Eternal Youth, we're going to use Agnostic. And if you look at the picture, you can see it's in that Templar area we were just counting. Uh, and um, let's go ahead and look for one other extra one. So everybody likes Elemental Damage, right? Let's tag in Elemental Damage and put that as one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Search. And what this just did is it basically found any Brutal Restraint number 
which I haven't talked about yet. We'll talk about that in a second. It's going to search all brutal restraints that exist in known mankind, um, and it's going to spit out these numbers. Now, you see these numbers here, 7853, uh, 3089, etc. Let's take a minute to talk about that really fast. So if I go over here and I type in brutal restraint, and I click it, you'll notice I have this little scroll here of 500 to 8,000. That means there quite literally exists a brutal restraint. Essentially, it could be any number from 500 to 8,000. And what that number is, is known as the seed, and it determines what rolls where. So you cannot really copy a timeless tool from a POB and try to look for it because all it takes is one person to buy out all five of those timeless jewels that exist and relist them for 50 divine instead of five chaos. And now that one person has cornered the whole market in 10 minutes. So that's why you do have to kind of have like somewhat understand how this works. So moving into the next thing, let's go back to where we were. So under our find timeless jewel, we now have made it. So we want one onslaught and one elemental damage. To confirm that this number on the right is working, if I put two onslaught, I'm pretty sure none are gonna exist. Okay, only one exists. There's no reason you would ever want two onslaught. It does not make any sense, right? And if I change the Ellie to two, you'll see that it also becomes very rare, right? So let's just start again with just one and one. Let me hit search. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna click copy trade URL and it is going to copy these four. Now from here, all I have to do is go to the website at POE Trade, or actually just paste it. And if you don't have shit internet, it'll load instantly. So what's happening now is it already set up the search parameters to search for these four numbers. I don't know the difference between an orange and a yellow. And you can see here, we have these timeless tools now listed for a divine. Let's go a little bit further. So you hit copy and it pulls those four. This is also why trade has been dying, by the way. Just, you know, big, big reason. There's one for 60 chaos that's listed. 60 C. What does it have again? That's got onslaught. And on top of onslaught, it's got the Ellie damage. How can we tell? Well, that is number 7602. And 7602 is there. So just for the sake of confirming things here, let's actually go here to brutal restraint. And I don't remember, what did we actually search that for? That is on Conquer Any. So I guess that that actually, I can't I can't simulate it and show you. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. But that is basically how that would work, right? I do think I can actually like uh, 7602. I think I can double click it. And I believe it's actually right here. Okay, so I can now put this here to just show you. Okay, so it's got cold res, evasion, global accuracy, uh, increased elemental damage, onslaught. So there's that's where the onslaught is, and that is where the Ellie damage is. So by using this trick, you can basically search between timeless jewels located in the Templar, uh, Templar region, and also where we would use it over here in the Marauder region. Uh, just to confirm here, the Marauder one is Resolute Technique, I think. What do they call it? Let's take a look. It just says Marauder. Okay, so that's even easier. You don't even have to remember anything. Oh, Resolute Technique's a different one. Never mind, just Marauder. Okay, so now the Divine Flesh one is uh, a little bit a little bit more annoying. Um, so I will explain, and that's the Glorious Vanity. So when we go to Find Timeless Jewel, when we click here, Glorious Vanity, you want to make sure this one is Zabiqua. And the reason it has to be Zabiqua is because we want the Divine Flesh Keystone for this setup. So this one is going to be in the Eternal Youth location. And what I, this one, I don't fully understand how it works because it has more stuff in it because it corrupts things. So I just looked, I didn't look for anything with two because when I put in two, it started to bug out. So I'll just do like armor one and I'll do like, uh, let's do um, max chaos res of one. Okay. And then we can hit search, copy trade URL. This one, I don't know why it can create so many. Uh, and let's just confirm though. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click this jewel right here. So this now added that jewel to my build and we're gonna tag that glorious vanity. I think it might bug out though if you have double selected. So there is cult of chaos that we selected, which is on this attribute wheel. And then up here, you can see the automaton studies uh, also has the armor roll. 
Now, a lot of people were asking why my POB looks different or my tree looks different from the POB. That's because my tree is connected this way. Or sorry, my tree is connected this way instead of this way. And the reason for it is because this Timeless Jewel is a lot more annoying because unlike Brutal Restraint that is only adding effects to notables and giving you dexterity on all the travel nodes, this one right here is actually corrupting everything and changing it. So all of these travel nodes are now different. It just so happened to be that the travel nodes I had, I think was like lightning res and chaos res or something. And I valued that more than a strength node and Ellie damage. So that's why my tree looked this way versus the other way, right? Anyway, sorry if the video is a little bit staggered. I'm a bit tired. I just kind of wanted to create this to help you guys out who are struggling trying to find timeless jewels. Uh, I hope that helped you guys out. Um, remember, you can pretty much use this for anything regarding your timeless tools, right? There's a whole bunch of different ones. You may just have to play around with it. And I do believe other content creators probably have explained this more in depth or better than me. So, you know, feel free to plug down your favorite content creator in the comments if they've got a more, uh, just a better video, for example. Anyway, see you guys all later. The SSF series starts soon. I am pretty excited, but that's it for now. So thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.